today I'm going to take up uh, revaluation of assets and liabilities um, in the lesson retirement of partner. Uh, now, first of all, like what you have done in admission of partners, whenever a partner retires, there can be certain uh, revaluation in the value of assets and liabilities, right? In uh, the case of uh, retirement, uh, most of the times uh, in many of the questions uh, they ask for the journal entries also right so it's important that you should know the journal entries uh, for all this uh, revaluation and transfer of profit and all things related with that right okay so first of all let's learn what are the journal entries related to this for increase in value of assets right now for this we will write assets account you have to write them individually right and assets account debit to revaluation account right now the second one for decrease in the value of assets This will be revaluation account debit to assets account. Again here all the assets will be put separately, right? Okay, third one for increase in liabilities. For increase in liabilities it will be revaluation account debit to liabilities account again right now the fourth one for decrease in liabilities for decrease in liabilities it will be liabilities account debit to revaluation account <coughs> okay okay now let's look at this one for recording unrecorded assets at times there may be certain assets which which uh, has not been put in the balance sheet right okay so unrecorded assets so assets account debit to revaluation account right for unrecorded liabilities unrecorded liabilities again means we have forgotten to put put some liabilities on the balance sheet right okay so that will be revaluation account debit to liabilities account this is something like increase in liabilities if you forget to put some liability and now you are going to record it that means the value of the liabilities are increasing so this is the same as your increase in liabilities right okay okay then finally for gain or loss on revaluation right if it is a gain I'll first of all write it for the gain if it's a gain on the revaluation then it will be revaluation account debit to all partners capital account now here it will be including the retiring partner fine and the uh, profits have to be distributed in the old ratio right this is the case when there is a gain on revaluation or profit on revaluation now if there is a loss on revaluation if there is a loss on revaluation in that case it will be all partners capital account debit to revaluation account 
okay so this is these are the journal entries um, which you have to pass on the revaluation re of assets and liabilities fine and obviously there will be a revaluation re account as you did in admission of partners right so now I am going to take up a small uh, question and uh, let's write the journal entries for this in this question right okay hmm? okay I'll take up a question Parry, Paul and Peter were sharing profits as 5 is to 3 is to 2 right their balance sheet is given like this I'll just write it like this liabilities <clears throat> amount fine assets amount okay now here we have the capitals of Parry Paul and Peter right and then you have creditors right Okay, now let's write the amount. It's uh, one lakh sixty thousand, and then you have one lakh fifty thousand, and then you have one lakh forty thousand, and creditors it is fifty thousand. Right? Now I come to the asset side. Land and buildings. The amount is two lakhs. Machinery. The amount is one lakh sixty thousand. Stock it's forty thousand. <clears throat> Debtors sixty thousand less provision two thousand. Right? So here it comes as fifty eight thousand cash at bank is 42,000 this is the balance sheet I have and now I'll write the uh, additional information right on the about date Paul retires right now Perry and Peter share future profits as 3 is to 2 right Okay, now see these things are given. Rupees 10,000 of the debtors are bad and not recoverable. Right? Rupees, uh, okay, let's write this. Provision for doubtful debts. Is to be maintained at rupees 2500 right land and buildings to be appreciated by 10 percent machinery to be depreciated by 5 percent okay it is 1000 included in the creditors is no longer payable as the creditor is bad right salaries for rupees 4000 outstanding there is an unrecorded asset worth rupees 40000 okay okay that's it now I want to pass the journal entries for this right okay now see the first one uh, rupees 10,000 of the debtors are not recoverable this is not related to your revaluation account this is a normal uh, uh, this thing bad debts account debit which you have done in your 
11th class journal entries bad debts account debit to debtors account right okay hmm. so here basically uh, 10000 rupees of your debtors is becoming bad so that is not going to recover uh, that is not going to be recovered so that has to be um, deducted from the debtors right okay hmm. being the amount of bad debts written off okay okay now let's come to the next one now the next one that we had written here provision for doubtful debts is to be maintained at 2500 now here you see that the provision for doubtful debts is given as 2000 now we are saying that we are saying that this is to be um, maintained at 2500 right okay hmm. so now see here revaluation account debit to provision for doubtful debts this is a liability right okay hmm. so it will be like this and the amount will be 500 okay then land and buildings are to be appreciated by 10 percent so that will be land and buildings account debit the asset is increasing right okay to revaluation account that will be 10 percent of the amount of buildings here building is 2 lakh so 10 percent of 2 lakh comes to 20,000 rupees right okay then machinery is to be depreciated by 5 percent so that will be revaluation account debit to machinery account and that is 5 percent of the value of the machinery that comes to 8000 rupees right then the next one with this thousand included in the creditors is no longer payable as the creditor is bad so you don't have to pay that right okay so that means there is a decrease in the amount of creditors decrease in liability so we'll write like this creditors account debit to revaluation account the amount will be 1000 okay hmm? then revaluation account debit to salaries outstanding account that will be 4000 rupees now see salaries for rupees 4000 outstanding outstanding salaries comes on the liability side right okay so that has not been put so you will have to put it so that is an increase in liability for you right okay hmm. there is an unrecorded asset right so assets account debit to revaluation account mm, the amount is 40,000 right okay this is a there is an unrecorded asset worth rupees 40,000 so these are the entries that you will put and the bad debts that we had put initially that bad debts will be transferred to the revaluation account why because the amount of debtors is becoming less right out of the debtors uh, whatever debtors you had here 58,000 out of that 10,000 is becoming irrecoverable means the debtors will be only 48,000 so there is a decrease in the uh, asset right okay so that will be revaluation account debit to bad debts account like this okay so that you will put as 10,000 so these are the journal entries for the questions that I have taken up here right and I have given the all the journal entries that you should be knowing for uh, revaluation and retirement 
so with that i come to the end of this uh, session bye